Open Only mode. Good morning and welcome to our webinar this morning. This is Jim Guinan. I'm an annuity sales director here with Insurance Agency Marketing. And today we have Casey Lane from North American. Casey's a sales vice president with North American, and he will be talking to you, to you in a few minutes about uh, the newest product that North American has to offer. So he'll be uh, reviewing some of the highlights of that product and I'm sure uh, knowing Casey that he'll also be talking with you about how this product fits in the portfolio and uh, give you some sales ideas as he usually does. So uh, we'll be visiting with Casey here in just a few minutes. Uh, this morning we are recording the webinar so in the event that uh, you have any challenges of time and you have to leave early or if you want to review the webinar for a later time uh, we will have a recording of it available for you um, so before we get started on the North American part of this I want to review with you a few things going on here at insurance agency marketing as we like to do sort of our commercial but for some of you you may have not been on a webinar with us before and aren't familiar with our organization so just want to give you a few uh, highlights here first of all <clears throat> excuse me we want to talk with you a little bit about a referred producer program um, I'm sure that you've been you may have been working with some IMOs that offer something similar but our referred producer program has been ongoing now for a number of years as you can see our goal is to basically say thank you for referring life annuity producers to us at our brokerage because they are very valuable and uh, that makes life easier for all of us so um, if their contract that you or the referral excuse me contracts that's a $50 bonus and then $100 or more when your referral does business of course we what we offer is an incentive to you that comes out of our pocket as they continue to write and this is an unlimited referred producer program so we do have agents here now that are getting um, referred checks um, on a consistent basis on two three four producers at the same time again the marketing reimbursement on here is another one of our incentive programs that we uh, pay out thousands of dollars for every month and for uh, your indexed annuity business your target life premium and single life a single premium life business we do have a conversion for those premiums those throw dollars into the marketing reimbursement for you to use later for business expenses such as lead programs perhaps a seminar and as that builds you can continue to let it grow to use for more expensive items uh, again that is a, a program that is ongoing so it doesn't have to be used in the current year okay and then also the probably the third incentive the big incentive that that we see a lot of interest in is our new producer bonus and as you can see this is for your first six months of writing business with us here at insurance agency marketing so for example in the first six months if you write 300,000 of annuity premium um, you can see those are the uh, some of the items if there's a different item that you'd like to use you'd probably need to get approval if there was something in particular that you wanted to be rewarded for but we'd be definitely visiting with you about it again 300,000 annuity premium in your first six months of writing business a $1,500 gift card so it's our way of saying thank you and to give you a jump start in uh, working with us and and incenting you as a way of thank you for placing business with us early on we do have some uh, fantastic support here um, at insurance agency marketing I think from top to bottom and if you are placing business starting to place business these are some things that you want to look forward to of course uh, we do have dedicated people that can help you with your annuity quotes um, however all of the annuity and life marketers can help you with your illustrations uh, one way or another we can get them for you and we try to do that as quickly as possible again the the business that comes through our brokerage everyone has a case manager that will touch that case at least once a week um, so again I'm just hitting a few of those things that I think help the most again from a contracting point of view the paperless contracting saves a lot of time 
most of our carriers are on the paperless contract, which means simply that you fill out the questions and the application for the agent contracting, and that is all you have to do. So you can get appointed with multiple carriers going forward. If there's a carrier you want to add, you just let contracting department know here, and they add that carrier to your list. Nothing more to fill out. So again, we're trying to streamline the business and make it so that you don't have to spend time on the phone taking care of all of these uh, issues that might come up. Our creative department is quite busy these days, as Josh and Tasia will tell you. Uh, they are busy right now uh, with um, website design. I, I hear that they're getting a lot of uh, in, input from agents looking for improving their websites or if they've not had one to get one. They also can help you with branding solutions. And if you're looking at uh, perhaps some type of a uh, communication with prospects or clients, I know email newsletters and uh, constantly uh, drip marketing, I guess you could call it, to your clients in different ways has become even more important today, and they do get a lot of requests for email newsletters. So if you're thinking about changing the way you're doing business, maybe upping your game a little bit, branding yourself, making more of a presence out there in your uh, practice of insurance business, let them know. Perhaps they can help you uh, tweak that a little bit or get you started on a website. Okay. Um, some of the things that were on the uh, business builders is on the website too. Of course, um, the ability to get term and UL quotes is available to you on our website. If you haven't been there, it's www.imsinc.com. We recently um, improved and revised our website. Uh, some great tools on there. Uh, I use it every day for uh, ways to help agents with searches for products. Now that we have over 30 annuity companies, it's very difficult to keep all of that. You can't, it's just very difficult to keep that organized. So I use the uh, tool that we have on our website to help look for income rider comparisons and as well as, uh, you know, we get requests for a particular designed annuity product, maybe 10 years, maybe a difficult state, uh, certain ages that we don't normally work with. Um, this helps define what are some of the options so that we can advise you the best. So again, the rate book that we publish every week is on the website. So uh, we try to keep that update as much as we can. Again, you can get life quotes, um, our webinar schedule, there's all sorts of tools and access that you can have in that web website. I would advise you, if you've not been on our website, whether you're working with us now or not, to check us out. Okay, and our IMS Wealth Management is continuing to grow. We do have our own registered investment advisor called IMS Wealth Management. We're about a year and a half old and continuing to grow in assets under management. Um, this is a opportunity for uh, you if you're interested in growing your your business in a different way, maybe reaching out to people. Uh, perhaps you've worked in the securities business before, would like to come back around. Maybe you're missing out on revenue. You're seeing clients that uh, you're turning that business away or referring it to someone else. Um, again, for those individuals that we visit with, and work in this market already, what they tell us is that it opens up a whole new uh, field of business that they didn't access before. So if you'd like to know more about that, I'm going to uh, launch poll question now. Um, if you'd like more information about IMS Wealth Management, would like to get something on the email or perhaps a phone call from Charles and his team, uh, please answer yes to that poll question. They'd be glad to visit with you about what's involved in getting the registered investment advisor. So it would be Series 65 investment advisor rep uh, exam. What are the costs involved in that? And what kind of uh, portfolios are available? Things like that. They could, they could visit with you a little further. They'd be glad to do so. 
<clears throat> again, it is a separate division from insurance agency marketing. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> we do have one more Life and Annuity Academy scheduled for uh, this year. It's actually uh, coming up in about three weeks. It's the first week of November. And we have uh, had these two-day academy uh, training programs now for about eight, nine years, I believe. And uh, what we continue to do is uh, look to grow as a brokerage. Uh, one of the ways is through the academies. We've seen great results from it. Um, if you are currently writing annuity or life business, would like to increase that business and would like to consider this, it is a two-day producer training. It is all expense paid. So let us know if you have interest in that. We can, we can answer any questions you have about it, of course. Uh, if you'd like to know more or get something on the email after the webinar, you should get an email from Sarah. Uh, Sarah will send you a link with a registration if you're interested. It also has a little bit of an agenda in there. Uh, kind of goes through some of the topics that are covered in that two-day training. So again, if you have interest in this, let us know. The Academy for November is already determined. We already have our agents uh, prepared for that, but we will have Academies next year. Um, don't know exact dates. My guess would be no sooner than March, perhaps, maybe April. Um, our goal is to have two to possibly three Academies next year, and we're usually at about 35 producers for these Academies. So if you'd like to know more, if you have an interest in that, you'd like to uh, grow your business, whether you've been writing with us or not, let us know. I will um, give you an opportunity here to answer a question for that if you'd like to get more. Like I said, though, you should get an email after the webinar is over, and uh, it will give more information how to register. Um, and again, if you have any questions, you can ask me or any of the annuity marketers would be glad to visit with you about it if somebody that you've already talked to and that you're familiar with. So we certainly appreciate your interest in that. Um, again, uh, a, a great program, two days, uh, not too long. It's usually a Wednesday afternoon uh, start, or I should say early evening start, and then finishing up about noon on a Friday. That's the schedule that we offer. So thanks for your response. I appreciate that so much. Again, um, you know, if you think of any questions later, we'll be glad to visit with you about it. And finally, I want to just tell you about our marketing summit for next spring. Um, this year, uh, our destination will be the Boulders Resort and Spa, which is in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, it is uh, four days, three nights. And uh, it is both a social and educational event. It is an invite only. Um, if you are writing business with us, um, and it was something that you'd like to consider, I know our goal is to continue to offer these. Um, based on the DOL, of course, the training, it has become more of an educational event in addition, but um, still should be a fantastic destination. Um, both social and educational. We have not yet determined what the next uh, trip will be. Um, as soon as we do, we'll let you know, I'm um, sure, through our webinars or through email. So with that, I want to uh, turn this over to Mr. Casey Lane, and he will visit with you now about uh, the new offering at North American. Casey? Thank you very much, Jim. I, I think I heard your uh, event next year is going to be here in uh, fabulous Des Moines, Iowa. So, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a fabulous place, but not a great uh, destination place for things like that. So, not in February. Uh, Jim, <laughs> not in February. Definitely not. Thank you for the introduction, Jim. I appreciate that greatly. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, on behalf of myself and, and all of the other employee owners here uh, at the North American Annuity Division, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules uh, to be on this webinar today. Uh, obviously, you are independent agents that work on commissions, so for you folks to take uh, 40 minutes, 45 minutes or so out of your busy schedule and away from those clients and prospects is certainly very much appreciated.
Uh, thank you, Jim and, and Insurance Agency Marketing Services for having me on the webinar here today. Uh, more importantly, though, thank you for being a true partner with North American companies. Well, obviously, Jim and I want you folks to get the most out of your time here with us today. So my piece of homework for you uh, over the course of the next, oh, I'm thinking we'll get done here in 25-ish minutes probably. So over the course of the next 25 minutes, your one piece of homework is, is this. I want to ask you to think about your database of clients and prospects. And if a client's name or a prospect's face pops into your head for whatever reason, whatever it is specifically I may be talking about at that time, I'm going to ask you to write their name down right then and there. Uh, because I guarantee if you're anything like me and you try to wait till the end of the presentation, you're going to forget who it was you wanted to talk to and what specifically you wanted to talk to them about. So my goal here is by the time we're done today is you've got three, four, five or more names of clients or prospects that you can pick up the phone and you can call and share with them the great news about the new VersaChoice fixed index annuity from North American company, which as its name implies, gives clients the versatility they want and the flexibility that life demands. So the VersaChoice fixed index annuity from North American, we just rolled this out here a couple of three weeks ago. So let's go ahead and jump on in. So what you're gonna find folks is that this uh, innovative product will provide several key features that a number of, of clients and, and your prospects are interested in and or possibly concerned about. And these specifically include competitive accumulation potential for future retirement years, right? And flexibility and liquidity in case the unexpected happens. And we're going to start talking today about, we're going to start on the right-hand side of the screen, and we're going to talk about the accumulation side of the VersaChoice product and see how it is a competitive accumulation product. And I don't know about you folks here on, on, on the phone. Uh, I can tell you our business, and I think the industry as a whole, as rates have slowly and, and minimally come up a little bit over the last couple of years, we've seen a little more of a shift back to an accumulation uh, need or want versus income. And not to say lifetime income is not important and clients aren't concerned about it. They still are. But I think we're seeing more folks coming back to index annuities for potential accumulation opportunities. So how does the VersaChoice help them? How can, how can the VersaChoice help them accumulate as much assets as possible? So when we take a look at the strategies for the VersaChoice product, and, I, and for time purposes, I'm not going to go through these uh, and the details and the such, but I at least wanted to give you uh, an opportunity to see what different strategies were available or are available here on the VersaChoice product. Now, unlike a lot of our other products, which have multiple indices and multiple crediting methods, you've seen we've, we're kind of taking a little more of the, the KISS method here, where we're kind of simplifying a little bit. The only index that's available, and I, I, don't, I don't say only in a negative way, but the one index that is available is the S&P 500. And for, for good reasons, it's the most widely known index. Everybody hears about the S&P 500. But within that one index, you can see there are multiple different crediting methods available depending on what you're interested in, what your client's in, interested in. And you know as well as I do, no one index, no one crediting method is going to be the best every single year, year in and year out. Each one performs differently in different market scenarios. Here's the thing, and, and where I would encourage you to at least take a look at allocating some of the client's premium. I'm not saying allocate 100%. But you're going to notice that there are several strategies where we do not apply a traditional cap to the upside. Uh, and those are your last, the last three down here. So we've got your annual point-to-point -point cap on the S&P 500. We've got the monthly point-to-point -point cap. And then these bottom three are, again, strategies where we don't apply a cap to the upside. Now, they're either going to be uh, they're not unlimited, right? This is not unlimited. These are quote unquote uncapped strategies. You've got a couple of different volatility control indices here, and you've got an annual point to point strategy with a participation rate on the S&P 500. So if you're looking at this from a purely a true accumulation and, and the most opportunity, again, these bottom three are going to give you the most opportunity just because 
of the fact that they, no traditional caps are applied. Now, you'll also notice there's a high band and a low band. Uh, the high band premium starts at $75,000 of premium. Um, and if you're familiar with some of our other products, uh, we've dropped that significantly. A lot of our other products that are banded uh, usually have a $250,000 premium to the high band rates. We have dropped that down to 75000 here on the Versa Choice. One specifically I'm just going to uh, talk about real quick and, and share an illustration uh, screenshot with you here is the uh, S&P 500, the uh, annual point-to-point -point participation rate. Um, and I think we've, we're seeing, like we've seen a little shift towards accumulation, we're seeing a little shift, I think, here and I think in the industry as well, um, moving from some of these exotic, I don't want to say exotic because these are not necessarily exotic, these, these, these different indices, the, these volatility control indices, to this participation rate, which seems to be, again, kind of getting back to the KISS method, a little simpler and easier to explain and for clients to understand than maybe some of these other strategies where there's multiple assets and things like that. So looking at the S&P 500 on the participation rate, again, un uncapped, right now the high band rate is at 45% participation. So if we were to look at a screenshot of an illustration, uh, and allocating 100% to the participation rate strategy and using $250,000 of premium, you're going to see that this product does provide some nice potential upside. Uh, and I apologize, my, there we are, my, uh, oops, let me backtrack here. My uh, go-to bar was in front of my, uh, in front of the right-hand side of my screen. So if we look back over the most recent 10-year period, at that strategy, again, the S&P 500 with a 45% participation rate, the, mo the most recent 10-year period, you would see that over that 10-year period, there would be an annual effective interest credit of just under 5%, 4.95%. That's what we see here on the screen. Now, over to the right, you'll see again, because this is a quote-unquote uncapped strategy, there are a few years in there where you see some, some double-digit returns because, again, it's an uncapped strategy. But over that ten, most recent 10-year period, 4.95%. That's pretty competitive. Uh, I did highlight down here in the lower left-hand part of the screen, uh, if we look back at the, the past 20 years and the lowest 10-year period, we've got come out with a 3.45% effective annual rate. And if we were to look back 20 years at the highest 10-year period, 6.26%. Now, is it going to perform at? Anything you see here on the screen, uh, we, there's obviously there's no guarantees that that's going to happen, but it'll give you a good idea. Anywhere between three to six percent is probably a good, a good range to use when it comes to uh, when it comes to annual effective rates. Now I'm going to kind of switch gears slightly here. Still, still talking about accumulation, and some of you might be thinking, well, you know, Casey, that that's pretty good. Uh, you know, five percent is is pretty decent. Six percent, you know, is, is a little better. Hey. But I know I've been looking at this company and they've had some illustrations showing seven, eight, ten percent annual effective rates. So, you know, I, I think I'm going to just go with that one because it provides more opportunity, more potential. And, and by all means, you're, there's plenty of plenty of premium out there to go around. But one thing I want you to keep in mind uh, with any carrier you're doing business with, and that is how do they treat their in-force policyholders, specifically when it comes to renewal rates? Because first of all, your clients aren't in these products for one year, right? They're not in this for, for two years or even three years. They're in these products for the long haul. And just because a carrier maybe has a 50% participation rate or a 0% a, 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 a margin or spread, does that mean it's going to be better for the policyholder over the long haul? Sure, it's going to illustrate better because your illustrations only reflect what the current rates are that that carrier is offering. But you know as well as I do, what can any carrier do after the contract's been issued after the first year? They can drop those rates, those caps, those spreads, those margins. They can drop those to the contractual minimums, and they don't have to give any reason for it. Every product has contractual minimum guarantees, and any company, for any reason that they want to, can drop renewal rates to anything they want to. So the, the, the lesson here is this. I, I encourage you to please ask the companies you're doing business with for renewal rate histories, for, you know, whether the products may be on old products so you can look back and see how they've treated you know, a policy for 
10 to 15, maybe 20 years, or even newer contracts. I, I, we have renewal rate histories. We, don't, we haven't published them on our newer contracts because there isn't much of a renewal rate history there. But I will tell you, our philosophy is very simple when it comes to renewal rates. And that is, if we have to decrease a client's renewal rate for whatever reason, we, we will decrease renewal rates. But if we can raise or increase or make better the client's rate going into the next year, we're going to raise their rates. Uh, don't get me wrong. We're not perfect. We have reduced clients' renewal rates on occasions and on over the years. But at the same time, we have increased rates or decreased margins on a lot of policies over the course of years as well. So again, please don't, just because one policy illustrates better than another one doesn't mean it's better for the client. It's going to look better on that illustration because that rate might be better this year. But these are long-term products. Renewal rates are important. Please make sure that you're doing your due diligence and checking with companies you're doing business with to show you how they've treated those enforced policyholders. So enough of that. I was on my high horse there. I love talking about renewal rates. We pride ourselves on offering the best renewal rates we can to our clients. Okay, now we're moving on. We're going to go ahead. We're going to now we look at it from a pure accumulation standpoint. Diversa Choice is a great opportunity and can provide some good potential accumulation. But what about the uncertainties in life? You know, we, we all talk about it. We all hope and feel and think that, you know, quote, unquote, it's not going to happen to me, right? But sadly, things do happen all too often to good people, right? So how can the Versa Choice product, how can it help clients that are wanting some assurance, are wanting to be able to feel better and to know that there's an opportunity or how this product can help them if those uncertain things come about. With the purchase of what we call the optional enhanced liquidity benefit rider, that's a mouthful, uh, for 50 basis points, the Versa Choice is the perfect answer for those clients that want to make sure that the uncertain things in life are covered. Now, we call the rider that's referred to as the liquidity benefit, right? But I prefer to use the term peace of mind benefits because that's exactly what you're going to be providing and what you can talk to your clients about is that these benefits provide peace of mind clients. That they, Liquidity benefit is a, a little vague and probably not too intriguing, but when you talk about peace of mind features to clients or potential clients, that gets a light bulb going. So what the liquidity benefit rider does is this, is it provides four additional benefits all in that one rider package. So there, it's not separate benefits that you pay separate fees for, it's one rider four additional benefits for 50 basis points a year. And we're going to go through each of these here in detail. The, the left side of, that, the, of your screen there are, are benefits that everyone that purchases the rider gets. Okay, those, those two on the left side, we'll talk about enhanced penalty-free withdrawals, return of premium. Everybody that purchases the rider gets those features. The right side of the screen does require one minimal qualification, which I'll talk about here in a minute when we get to those two specific benefits. So regardless of the client situation, the two left hand, the two on the left hand side are provided to the client. So let's, let's go through these. And I apologize for all of the verbiage here on this screen. But in order to make sure we understand how this works, we need all the language plus compliance says we needed to put this on there. So let's look at the left hand side, we're gonna look at one and two. So talk about liquidity. One of the features that is provided is an enhanced penalty-free withdrawal. So what the Versa Choice allows, and this is the first for us, by the way, uh, the Versa Choice does allow a 10% penalty-free of, of your premium in the first contract year. So you can take 10% of your premium anytime during the first year. If you don't, starting day 366, you can take 20% of your accumulation value out at that point in time. Now, if you happen to use a penalty-free withdrawal, right, then, then you don't have the opportunity to accumulate to 20. So if you don't use the 10% one year, you can take 20 out the next year. If you do take any of that 20 out, whether it's 5, 10, 15, it'll revert back to 10 the next year. So basically every other year you can get 20% of your accumulation value without any penalties or market value adjustment. So again, a little bit of a peace of mind for a client that says, hey, you know what, what if I need more than 10? What if some emergency pops up where 10% probably won't cut it? Well, 
You can take up to 20% if it so happens to fall in that year. Uh, so what I'm going to do is as I go through each of these benefits, I'm going to kind of move forward and, and do some screenshots here for you. So this showing quadrant one, the, the enhanced uh, penalty, 10% penalty free, Mrs. 65-year-old client puts $100,000 into the contract, doesn't take a penalty free withdrawal the first year. After the first year says, hey, you know what? I need 20%. I had an emergency pop up. Now, 20% of $99,500, and you might be asking, well, how or why did that go down, Casey? I didn't think I could lose any money in an index annuity. Well, this is showing the guaranteed value, so there's no interest credits whatsoever. And remember, there's a 50 basis point charge that's coming out. So yes, in that example, your account value will be less than what you put in because there was no interest credits and the fee. So they could take out essentially $19,900 that year for whatever purpose they needed it for. So again, if you don't use the 10% one year, you can get 20% out the next year. Second feature, number two on the screen, and this, is, uh, this has been a, a driving force for another product of ours that we have that, that provides this similar type of feature. And again, it's a nice peace of mind for clients to know that anytime after the second contract year, if for whatever reason, doesn't matter what it is, that client needs to get their money back we will guarantee that they'll receive 100% of their net premium back. Net premium meaning if you happen to take a penalty-free withdrawal, we're not going to return the withdrawal that you took also. You're going to get 100% of whatever you put in the contract back, no questions asked. That does also include, by the way, the 50 basis point fee that, that we have been deducting, right? So if it's a three or four years and we've, take, we've taken off some, some fees off of there, if you gave us $500,000, we've been taking fees out, we're going to give you back $500,000 if you utilize that return of premium feature. And again, as long as it's after the second contract year. Now, the next question I always get when it comes to return of premium from, from agents like yourselves is, well, what's the chargeback provision, Casey? Excellent question. Chargeback is one year for uh, death or surrender, 100% chargeback the first six months, 50%, seven through 12. So if your client does utilize the return of premium feature because it's after the second year, you won't have any chargeback. So real quick, moving ahead, let's go to the return of premium feature. So again, here's our 65-year-old client, puts in a $100,000 premium. Uh, now, I know the arrow's in the way here. This shows the surrender value, and then obviously the surrender value is less than what they put in the first two years. But then starting in the third year, you can see $100,000 premium guaranteed, Mrs. Client. No matter what happens in any of those years, if you need or want that money back, we will give it back to you. And again, nice peace of mind to know that, hey, I've got this op option here if I need it. And you know what, what could come up that would say they need all of their premium? I, I couldn't tell you. There's, they all, everybody has their reasons. One thing I, I do see with another product again of ours that has this type of feature is that uh, the agent maybe might split, say, a $200,000 uh, or $500,000 premium into you know, two, three, maybe four separate Versa Choice contracts. Because if a, an emergency does arise, Mrs. Client, you may not need all $500,000. So let's not you know, return all 500, but let's take this one contract over here and we'll, we'll return 125,000 that premium you put in that one. And we can let the others continue to grow for you. So that's a concept and idea to think about, too, for larger cases that return a premium. If you split it up into several different contracts, you're not forcing the client to get, take back all of the premium if they don't need it. Okay, now over to the right side of the, uh, of the, con or of the enhanced liquidity benefit rider. Now, again, the first two, enhanced, enhanced penalty-free withdrawal and return a premium, everybody that gets the rider gets those. The second two, they do require one minimal qualification and that qualification is at the time the application is taken that client is able to perform all six activities of daily living and there is a question on the app at this time i am able to perform all six activities of daily living if they check yes on there then they're eligible for op benefit three and four if for some reason they're not able to perform all six adls at the time of application Three and four will not apply to them. Again, they still get one and two, liquidity and return of premium. But again, if they're able to perform all six ADLs at the time of issue, there's two activities of daily living based uh, features 
that are a part of this contract. And this is, as far as I know, is unique in the industry. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has these specific types of ADL features. The first one is an ADL-based surrender charge waiver. Okay, what this states is at any time after issue, that client by a, a certified physician is not able to perform two of six ADLs and is foreseen to never be able to perform at least two of six ADLs, they can access their accumulation value 100% penalty free at any time. So Mrs. Client, second year in the contract, something happens, they can't perform two of six ADLs. If they need to or want to, that accumulation value is available to them penalty free. Take as little or as much as you want. Take none if you don't want to. But again, it's that peace of mind for the client to know that if, if this were to happen, whether it's confined, whether they happen to go into a nursing home or it's in home care, but they just can't perform two of six ADLs, they have 100% access to the accumulation value, no penalties whatsoever. That's pretty powerful. So let's go take a look here at this example. Here you go, Mrs. Client, you're 65, your $100,000 premium. Again, know that with the ADL waiver, that accumulation value that the arrow is pointing at is available to you at any time after issue for what, uh, at 100%, as little or as much as you want to. Now, I know there's a, we know there's a lot of, of those quote unquote income doublers that are out there on, the, on you know, lifetime income riders where they're two of six ADL based. But as far as, we're conf as far as we know, nobody has a waiver, 100% waiver for ADL-based type features. So that's ADL feature number one. And again, remember, all four of these are part of the one rider. The second ADL benefit and the fourth benefit overall is, a, is an ADL-based payout benefit. And this is also very unique to the industry. And what this says is anytime after the second contract anniversary, the client, again, is unable to perform two of six of the ADLs, what they can do is they can draw an income over five years that is based on an enhanced accumulation value amount. Let me repeat that. If after the second year, they're not able to perform two of six ADLs, we'll take their accumulation value by a, a, an extra multiplier, and they can take that amount over a five-year period. Now, essentially, essentially, if they choose that feature, they are annuitizing the contract over a five-year period. It, then it's done. So if they choose that benefit, payout's going to happen over five years. It's five equal payments of, a, of an enhanced percentage of the accumulation value. And let me get into that particular payout benefit. So, again, not available in years one or two, but is available starting in the third year. So, Mrs. Client, let's assume that starting in the fifth year, you are now unable to perform two of six ADLs. Now, you have options. Again, here's some great flexibility. If you want to, remember the surrender, the, the accumulation value is available 100% penalty free. You can take as little or as much as you want to. Or, if you want to, we'll pay you 120% of your accumulation value over five equal payments. So let's assume at that point, your accumulation value was exactly $100,000. Again, that's penalty free. You can take as little or as much, or we'll pay you $120,000 over five equal payments. Now, does it sound like a lot? It, it doesn't sound like a lot, but I mean, again, think about some of the alternatives, you know, as far as over a five-year period, what types of rates clients can get, I mean, CD type things, you know, money market type accounts, they're not going to be able to beat 4% a year or 3.86, whatever it comes out to compounding. So here's the other thing. And, and you can see the schedule here on the screen. Again, if it happens in the third year and they decide in the third year to utilize this feature, we'll pay out 110%, 115 in the fourth, 120 in the fifth. And anytime six year after, it's going to be 125% of your accumulation value paid out over five years. Now, here's the other nice thing about this and, and the flexibility. Let's say it does happen in the third year, okay? 110%. Personally, 110% over five years, I would probably just take the accumulation value myself. Everybody's different. If it happens in the third year 
the client doesn't have to take this enhanced payout benefit. What they could do if they wanted to is maybe take, because they've got the waiver, remember they've got the waiver of ADLs, so they can access any amount of the accumulation value they want to. Maybe for two or three years, they just take a little bit extra out of the accumulation value. And then in the sixth contract year, they decide to exercise this benefit. At that point, we'll pay out 125% of whatever accumulation value is remaining. So just because the two of six ADLs happened in year three doesn't mean even if you decide several years later to use this benefit, we're locked in at 110. It's whenever, whatever contract year you decide to exercise this benefit is that enhanced payout. So again, take a little bit if you want from the accumulation value, so then you can maximize the uh, the payout in the six year or beyond. So again, some nice flexibility. And I'm going to backtrack here. Nope, I'm going to go forward. Here's again our 65 year old client puts hundred thousand dollars in the contract. Here on the right hand screen, you can see the the enhanced liquidity benefit payout. So Mrs. Client. You happen to go into the nursing home, or excuse me, doesn't, this, this does not require confinement. Let me make sure that's clear. This is not confinement. You're not able to perform two six ADLs in uh, in the fourth contract year. Your accumulation value is $125,000. We're going to pay that out at 100 and 115 uh, percent, uh, or in that case, $28,891 a year for five years. Again, remember, you can go ahead and wait and wait and wait as long as you want to. You can wait till the 22nd year of the contract if you want to to utilize that enhanced benefit payout. The longer you wait, the higher that payout goes, as you can see. Again, peace of mind for the client and, for that matter, for clients' beneficiaries to know that if something unexpected were to happen to them when it came to uh, uh, confinement, ADLs, assisted living, as long as that client's not able to perform two six ADLs, those benefits are available to them. And you know as well as I do, folks, I, we're not in the, in the long-term care business or nursing home business here as a company, but I'm assuming in your daily conversations with clients, that is probably more of a concern or just as big of a concern as am I going to have enough money to live on in retirement or outliving my income in retirement, right? I don't know what the stats are. 68% of us, uh, of 68% of those 65 or older will spend some part of their life confined or in assisted living. It's a major concern. And not only is it a concern, but a bigger concern is how am I going to pay for it if it does happen? Know that if that client or when that client comes to you with the what if question about nursing home, assisted living, whatever it might be, in-home daycare, in-home care, if you can't perform two six ADLs, you get these fabulous additional benefits for North American. And you know what? You've got the other features as well. Even if you never are confined, you still have the other features. I'm, I'm sorry. I keep saying confinement. This is not a confinement feature. It is two to six ADLs. So again, four benefits all provided by the one optional enhanced liquidity benefit rider for, again, 50 basis points a year. Now, just a couple of other tidbits, if you will, some, some fun facts. Uh, this is a modified single premium product. So the, uh, uh, you can add additional premiums, uh, but only in the uh, first year. And the maximum premium is $1 million. Minimum premium is $20,000. Okay, qualified or non-qualified, minimum is 20, maximum is a million. There is only one version. It's a 10-year surrender charge schedule. Uh, you can, again, we talked about the penalty-free withdrawals. You can access 10% in the first year. And the issue ages are zero through 79. And I believe that is true in every state that this is available in, which it's available in, I think, 40, 43 states at this point in time. So make sure before you go out and take an app that, first of all, you take the reg ed training and that you confirm that it is available in your state. But I'm pretty sure it's available in all states that it is up through age, issue age 79. And there's a couple more tidbits. Uh, street commission, 7%. Uh, there is a commission reduction at the older ages. It is 1010 compliant, so if you are a registered rep through a broker dealer, you can still sell this if it's on their shelf. And then I did mention before also, uh, as in regards to the two of six ADLs, the, the the one knockout question as far as the those two features on that on that rider are again, are you able to perform all six ADLs at this point in time? And if you are, again, 
you're eligible for those assisted daily living uh, uh, benefits that were a part of that rider. I'm going to just reiterate one other thing here real quick, or not reiterate, but just make sure we're clear. So the Versa Choice, really, again, you have two options. You can just use it as a pure accumulation vehicle. Don't, don't worry about the, don't add the rider. If you just want pure accumulation, you're going to see some nice upside potential because of some of those nice strategies where we don't apply traditional caps to, right? If you want to have a little more flexibility, liquidity, peace of mind type benefits, then you can add the enhanced liquidity benefit rider for 50 basis points. You have to make that decision at the time of issue. You, you can't four years down the road after it's been issued say, hey, I think I like that, uh, that, that rider that we talked about. Let's add that on. You have to make that decision at the time of issue. So you've got accumulation. You've got liquidity. You've got peace of mind. You've got things that clients are concerned about all in one package here with the Versa choice. And remember my homework for you was hopefully you each found or thought of or pictured three or four or five clients or prospects and you've got some names written down. So when we get done here in just a few more minutes, you can go ahead and call those folks and talk to them about the Versa choice fixed index annuity from North American. And with that, Jim, uh, I think just, uh, 25, might've taken a little more than my, what I said I was gonna, but we're done at a quarter after. I don't know if there's any questions, if you wanna do questions or anything like that. Um, yeah, that would be fine. And thank you very much for going through this Versa Choice product. Um, a lot of times what we see in our uh, carriers products, your, your competition is if there's a rider, oftentimes the rates on the index itself, the index annuity are substandard, you know. So um, the, the accumulation story is competitive. And again, it's an optional rider. I did want to ask, there were there was a couple of questions here actually, um, but you did answer it at the end with state approvals. You said it was approved in about 40, 45 states. Is that what I heard you say? 40, 43-ish, I think okay. still. Okay, well, that's good. Seven. Yeah. Uh, California is one it's not approved in, but it has been filed in and uh, it just it's a matter of time and mm -hmm. it's, it's probably going to be a little bit of time knowing California, but it, it has yeah. been filed in California as well. Okay. Sounds good. So we'll keep on top of that, um, you know, again, as, as we visit with producers to make sure that they have the product approved. Um, now, you mentioned product training. I did want to ask this for those that are tuning in. Uh, if they've already taken product training for North American, is the training specific for the Versa Choice then to add or how, how does that work? Uh, yeah, so the, the Versa Choice it has its own code okay. in, in Reg Ed. So, yeah, if you uh, if you haven't already taken it, you need to take it before you go out and solicit a Versa Choice case. So yeah, this is a brand new product, so it's not a, a revised version of a different product. It's a brand new product that has its own code. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm looking to see if there's any thing that you didn't answer. There were some questions that came in, but I think you've answered most of them. Uh, DOL, um, we always, it's always on our mind. And so, um, of course, you said this product is 1010 compliant. Um, anything new as it relates to DOL with this product? Anything the agents w would want to know um, that they sh don't already know about the DOL, Casey? Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, we're still right now in the 8424 phase. So I just make sure and encourage everybody to, we we haven't we don't talk about it as much now because we're several months into mm -hmm. that phase of it. So just make sure any any fixed index annuity that's qualified that you're you're doing your due diligence and you're filling out the appropriate paperwork and filing that uh, in your files. Um, we just would hate for something to happen two years later and somebody comes back and says, well, you you didn't uh, complete the 8424 necessary forms or disclose commission. So for now. We're moving forward as is. Uh, who knows, you, Jim? You know as well as I do, man. We don't we don't know what's going on with this thing, and we won't until it seems like every every day or every week something new pops up, or there's a delay, or we're moving back to this. So it's. Uh, I wish I had the crystal ball. Um, <laughs> yeah. If, if I did, I probably wouldn't be on this webinar. However, no offense, but uh, it's just it's a matter of time, and mm -hmm. you know, for now it's business as usual. Keep plugging away. Yes, thank you. Well, we uh, that is all for the questions that we had in. You did a great job this morning, Casey, and 
what I want to do is just real quick here launch a poll question for those agents that are on the webinar. If you'd like to get uh, more information on the new Versa Choice 10 indexed annuity, um, product info, rates, um, if you would also like to get appointed with North American, we'd be glad to get that out for you. So if you'd like some information on it, uh, we can certainly get it over for you um, quickly as possible. And um, also remind you that if you have an appointment with North American now, um, it's possible that you'd be able to contract uh, and have a dual appointment with IMS. So that's what a unique thing about North American. We don't have many carriers that offer that. So uh, if you do have an appointment with North American, another IMO, you'd like to get appointed with us because what we do and how we work, uh, we'd be glad to do that and would not interrupt your contract uh, with North American elsewhere. So again, we'll be glad to get some information out to you. Just let, just answer yes to the poll question. If you'd like, we'll get that over for you. Uh, also, if you have any questions at all that you, you think of after the webinar, um, let us know. You can still type those in into the uh, webinar response, or you can certainly give me a call and we'd be glad to uh, to help you with it. So thanks so much for your participation today. Thanks, Casey, for your time and information. We certainly appreciate it. And uh, all of you have a good rest of your day. Thanks, Jim. Thank you.